Hey, how's it going gamers? It's Mao and welcome to Castle Clash. So, I posted a video earlier if I should take my Dredrag to 8 out of 8 and most of you said yes. And then other few people said I should put Bulwark on him. Uh, I kind of do agree with Bulwark, but I don't have Bulwark. So I do have to go ahead and actually roll for it, but I already have 8, I mean 6 out of 8 Bulwarkers. So I'm just gonna continue actually and taking him to 8 out of 8. But first, Harsh is gonna drop his defense, all his heroes and uh, garrisons. And I'm just gonna attack with my Dredrag to see the damage on the buildings. And let's see how fast he can clear Harsh's base because he's already got all his buildings pretty much very high level. So that's what I want. Somebody with high level buildings and there you go. He dropped his troops, no troops, no heroes, no garrisons. Here we go, so I'll just place my Dredrick yeah, on this bottom side and I do have Sprint 4 on him just so he walks faster and attack, so let's see, what is it? 33,841 so 33,841 he's walking 33,841 so it looks actually, actually pretty fixed damage look it's all he's all doing the same damage to everything okay that's new it usually does like a random damage so same damage 33,841 it's actually pretty good huh for dread drag so can he clear this base under a minute? Come on, 10 seconds. Let's go, Dredrick. 4, 3, proc, 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 2, 1, and... Ooh, perfect. 1 minute. Okay, so 33,841. That's what he does right now. So let's actually... I'm going to go test them in the last realm. Let's go Dredrig, let's find you a team, alright let's go check out this paladin over here, uh, pretty weak, uh, what about this champion, ok that's better but champion might stun him, so let's see what happens, so what is it, 34,000? Oh, there's Saki Bus and Shaman, yeah, they're reducing his damage, so <laughs> he's doing 8,000 damage. Never mind, I'm gonna quit this. Forgot about Saki Bus. Alright, let's go back to this Paladin, I guess. Let's go. So 34, 36, so, so now there you go, now there's all random damage 31, 36, 35. So it's all random, but when we attacked Harsh's base, so it was all everything was one set uh, damage. Though, so this this means if I'm gonna level him up to eight out of eight, and I'll go back to attack Harsh's base, we'll see the exact amount of damage increase on those buildings. So now let's go take him to eight out of eight. Excited, let's go. So 7 out of 8, I'm gaining 20% damage. Boom, 7 out of 8, and 8 out of 8, I'm gaining 25% boost. Oof, that's a lot of damage. 90%. See, with Bulwark, I would only had 60% and 60% health. But with War God, it's all damage, 90%. Oh, that's that's good. I think I, I think I'm happy with this. So let's go ahead and actually test them. So Harsh is gonna drop defense again for me. Just gonna wait for him to drop. There you go. Attack Harsh. We'll drop Jerry in the bottom. Let's see how much time is it gonna be. One minute or it's gonna be less. So 
what is it what is it 44 344 so that's 11,000 damage increase Ooh, that's a big increase huh 11,000 Wow Look, their building's already disappearing. Oh, let's go, Dreadrig. 30 seconds in, we're already at 63%. And 20 seconds left. Let's go, Dreadrig. 17, 16, 15. Oh, that was 45 seconds. That was what 15 seconds faster and does 11,000 damage more. This means the whole war god by having war god on my dredgex, I'm gaining 22,000 damage increase. Wow! All right, let's actually look at his uh, so he does 170 and 90 percent. That means he's doing 260 percent damage now. Hmm, that's a big increase, 11,000 damage for each hit. You know what, I actually want to go and test them and let's go raid, let's go raid a random person. So this guy looks like he's still got old wall, but he's got some over level 20 buildings, so that's not what I want to do, I want to drop this one, there you go. I want to see if this one's gonna, oh. Wait, all the heroes are gone already? Okay. Hoo hoo, he's killing everything in one shot. Wow, alright, let's go find different base. Let's go find different base. Perfect, so we got some heroes. We got buildings over here. Let's go dredge it. Let's see what. Actually, use this boost. Let's see if he actually increases the damage. Ooh, he just hit the skull net for a hundred thousand. Look, all the heroes are already gone. All the buildings are one shot, one kill. Wow. That's a lot of damage. Oh, this base. Uh, should I try it? Should I try it? Yeah, I'm gonna try it. Yeah, I'll just drop my Dreadrack right here. Let's go. Dreadrack, don't die. Kill those heroes. Oh, somebody died. Oh, three more heroes died, but Pumpkin gave buff. Skullnet's coming in. Nope. Ah, oh, I dropped the shield too late. Skullnet had a Pumpkin Duke buff. Ooh, 29%. Hmm. You know what, Mina? Mina, here. I don't want to waste those under badges. There you go, 69%. Alright, let's revive my Dredrig. Let's do one more. One more base. I'm gonna do one more base. Something interesting, something interesting. Oh, that was actually a pretty interesting base, but there you go. Ooh, almost killed those heroes in one shot. There you go, Ares is already dead. Drew just revived himself. Now Vlad revived himself. I'm surprised, that's a lot of damage for Dredrag. Ooh, that, that was a good choice for me, huh? War God and Dredrig. Who could him go now? Santa Prox, give me the energy and there you go, finish. Wow. Alright, I think that's it for this video, so let's go check him out again. So he's got 273,000 damage. I got a Spirit 4 on him. Level 95 inscription. There you go, my dredgex. Thanks for watching guys, I'm out, bye.